This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Now you have been in Nicaragua and Costa Rica, all through South America. Have you seen tangible evidence that fair trade is making a difference in people's oh, lives? Of course, absolutely, yeah. When I was in Nicaragua a few weeks ago, for example, I visited um, a man named Felipe Gomez, who is a very, very small coffee farmer, very typical of the world's 30 million mm -hmm. coffee farmers. Uh, he has two acres of coffee. He's extremely poor. He lives way, way up in the mountains, and far away from, from roads, from electricity. He sells to local middlemen who are called coyotes, who ride up into the countryside, up into the hills, buying coffee. And he was lamenting the fact that today's price right now is around 60 cents a pound. His kids are all out of school. High school is not uh, something that he can afford. And so um, life in that community, an unorganized, typical uh, small farmer community, is very hard. People struggle to survive. On this same trip, I had a chance to visit fair trade co-ops, um, folks that I've known for a while, um, folks that have been selling to the fair trade market here in the United States for, mm -hmm. for eight, ten years. And it was like night and day. The, the, the